Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to share how such intricate candles are being packed with extreme care and love to prevent damages during delivery. Therefore, I will not be sharing how my faith leads me onto a new journey in carving personalized candle, which you can find at the top right hand corner. If you are interested in my creations or having a chance to see the candles you order being made into a video or even perhaps my faith journey how it transformed my life do subscribe to my channel so you will receive a notification when a new video is being uploaded during covid 19 many small businesses are affected i decide to give something special for each order as an appreciation of thanks each customer gift are different for this customer these are going out as a gift to her two Christian friends. I got inspired to use the design I created for my Instagram post, which I used for sharing my faith journey, and turned it into a unique handmade box. It is very unique in the sense that it reminds us Christian, God is always with us, even during bad times. Darkness is not always there. We have God, therefore we have light and we are also reminded to shine brightly as a child of God. I make two different box design. Do let me know if you are interested to see a video on how these boxes are made. The candle on the left hand side is the most interesting personalized request I've received so far. My customer friend is in love with Mignon and she has a beautiful Mignon theme kitchen. You can check out the kitchen photo in my latest Instagram post. During COVID-19, since business has slowed down so much, instead of doing the normal 2D wax tag, uh, which is on the right hand side, the pink candle, uh, that is using a 2D wax tag. I decided to challenge myself to create a 3D wax tag into something funny and cute since this itself is already a wacky request. Um, customers also like to include Christ be our light onto the wax tag itself since it's going to a Christian. And I really hope her Christian friend will be surprised and love this candle. The pink candle on the right side has a very meaningful wax tag. Uh, the messages was given by my customer. God is the strength of my heart. Uh, this candle is created uh, with minion color in yellow and blue. Um, if you have any funny or special requirements, Feel free to discuss with me and I'll do my best to try to meet your requirement. I almost got a heart attack recording these sections of cutting the wig. Uh, I'm so glad I pray for a smooth videography. Uh, basically, the scissors slip out of my hand and then flew uh, and stopped in front of the candles. An extra 0.1 cm will have hit the candles. Thanks God for protecting these candles and it managed to go out safely without any damages. Um, it's very important to cut the wig. It's not just the first time you burn, but each time before you burn, do check if your wig is too long. If it's too long, remember to cut it. Because the longer the wig, the bigger the frame will be. And the bigger the frame, the hotter the flame it is, which means your candle is going to burn way faster. Too huge of a frame will also generate suits. So it's best practice to always check your wig before you burn. The appropriate size of the wig is 1 quarter inch tall. In Singapore, I understand most of us use cm. So what you can do is to round up to 0.6 cm tall and you will be safe. As these candles are so fragile, there's no way I can go 100% green on my packaging. So the only thing that is involving plastic is these bubble webs. So how I usually pack my candles is, I will make sure that the top part of the candles, the bubble web is full in the sense that it has three layers of protections and the bottom will have two layers of protections. Then I'll wrap it up.
time when I buy a product and have to search all over the place to figure out where to peel off the scotch tape, that kind of put me off and I decided to do something so that my customer can easily figure out where to peel off the scotch tape by doing a marking uh, on the scotch tape with a marker. put a small logo of my business at the bottom of the candles before I um, cover the top and the bottom with another piece of bubble wrap for extra protections. The fonts on the thank you card is pretty small so I decided to redo my thank you card and I changed the size to a square card. And there's also many ways we can help small business. Uh, since my business is also affected, I can't help in cash, but I want to do something uh, in actions to help out all other small business. So I created this card where it actually shows some information. Uh, what are the other ways we can do to help small business even though if we cannot afford to buy from them? There are actually many many other methods. So at the same time, I also include a candle burning instruction. It's very important to read these instructions because these candles are not uh, like the normal traditional candle. So do check it out on how to use it. And as usual, I will also include a business card in case you know they are interested to buy it as a gift for another friends. Yeah. Customer and she has returned non stop uh, for more calf candles. I think she has already purchased about 10 candles or eventually more than 10. Um, she gets to see throughout the progress of how I keep upgrading the way I package my candle. I was quite surprised that I received a kind compliment from her that she is very glad I'm always looking out for improvement. Um, so at the initial stage, I did not use any tissue paper and I decided to add some tissue paper towards uh, the end of year 2019 because I would like the product to look more professional. handmade with love stickles as this is the last two pieces I have I'm thinking of giving the sticker a new look too um, but apart from having a professional look I felt that with a tissue paper, you can um, gently and easily 
uh, shake out the candles from the box because the way I package the candles into the box is they are snug fit why they are snug fit you know you, you try not to give uh, some space for movement as long as there's movement you know the thinly slice pattern on the cuff candles might get scratches so that's why they are very snug fit inside the boxes without a tissue paper it's pretty hard to shake the candles out with just only the bubble wrap a perfect bow is a challenging task but this time around I think I got really lucky I got it on my very first try <laughs> I'm actually so happy on that day when I filmed this video Initially, I did not include bubble wrap for the top and the bottom of the candles but I thought it would be a great idea to include them too. So at the end of year 2019, I start to include bubble wrap for the top and the bottom of the candles so that it can give the candles a stronger protection. share with my customers to encourage their friend who will be receiving this gift to recycle the packaging material. Well, let's try our best to save the earth too, uh, especially the bubble wrap. They are very handy and useful for your future gift wrapping. Remember the loyal customer I shared earlier? She is so kind. Towards the end, she sent back two empty boxes with bubble wrap, requesting me to reuse them for her next order. I'm so thankful for her thoughtfulness to save the earth um, by recycling especially the plastic. this I use a bigger twine and I do not want to take a risk to tie a perfect bow so I actually slot back the twine that I have previously uh, tied uh, back into the top of this milk carton box. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. 
If you love my creation, kindly help to subscribe to my channel so you will get a notification when a new video is uploaded. Meanwhile, you may want to check out more videos and see you next time.